All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Rising Hell. It's <laughs> honestly, I would say it's the hell-themed opposite version of uh, Downwell, maybe, where you're a dude that's just going up a tower instead. But obviously, there's demons and stuff. So we'll see how this goes. I have been looking at this game for a while. Let's see, Agony Level One. Okay, I don't even know what any of this is. So Rise from Hell, default difficulty, Aerok is the character. Doesn't look like it can do anything else, so I guess let's just go. And... Okay, so Hellbane, demon demonic hand to slay hell dwellers. Pyrebrand, or Shard of Samael. We do have the Ethereal Cloak. Oh, no we don't. Someone's in the Imp Companion. So it looks like it can spend money to unlock some of these. Well, I guess we're stuck with that, so let's just go and find out. Okay. Yep, so this literally is just demon opposite down well. And less careening, I... That man probably didn't deserve the the horrors that I did to him, but that's okay. So I, it looks like I can kind of go back down, just not often. But I'm just going to just wreck through things. So is this a Met Metroid Dumia? No, this is very much a roguelike. Uh, there was another roguelike that kind of operated in a similar fashion a while back, but I do not remember the name of it. Let's see. Doombringer! Infernal Claw! I do not know... I do not... It looks like it's changed my combo. More than anything else. Anyway. Fortune Maker increases artifact monster spawn rate. Killed enemies have a small chance of dropping red souls. Increases your attack damage by 5% for each talent you have. More souls required. And Fellforge increases attack damage by 10%. So most of these are too expensive for me, so I guess we're just doing attack. Is that attack damage? I think it was attack damage. Now, where's the perk that gets me pants? Slaughtering Spire or the Hecatomb? Hecatomb! Slaughtering Spire sounds way too close to Slay the Spire, and I've already played that game. Alright, I am immediately interested in this game. It has very similar... I'm gonna say... Well, no... I'm not going to say it's similar layout to Downwell, because Downwell is like its own beast entirely. But, like, I really I really like the simplicity of this level design, which is pretty much just each chamber kind of is a, its own thing. Vault of Avarice. Press Y. Hell yeah, let's check this out. Let's see, it doesn't seem exceptionally challenging, and that worries me. Uh... Ow. I think... I think that's just a matter of just spending a little bit more time in it. I'm going to die eventually. Like, ow. The traps seem to be more of an issue for me. Okay. Gotta be, yep. Gotta be more careful here. Oh, I can wall jump. Ow. I got baby screams. Ow. Right. Can double jump. Can double jump. Might travel. Ow. Well, I'm just going to wreck those guys when I'm not even around them, I guess. This is going, eh, kind of adequately. Bam. Okay, there we go. Increase your max life capacity, artifact monsters drop red souls, and attack damage as you lose life. Uh, let's do max life capacity. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, currently the most dangerous thing seems to be uh, just the enemies that we're running into. Or not the enemies, the uh, the blade traps. They seem to be the problem. I'm liking the music, though. And... The combat is immediately accessible, fairly responsive, and god, I love those backgrounds.
Samael the Baneful. Okay. Ow. I immediately deserve that. Okay, avoid. Because I don't want to get wrecked here. I think I took a little bit of damage, but not too much. Okay. I was really hoping increasing my maximum health. Uh, increasing my maximum health would increase the healing I get, but it doesn't look like it. Enemies killed by Hellbreak drop 30% more red soul. Green soul drop rate. Or green soul drop rate when you have 50% of your max life or less. Uh, well, I guess I gotta grab this one because the other one is way too expensive for me to be able to afford it. Okay, can I check the controls? So, there is nothing fancy. Just interact, yeah. Okay, there, there was something about Hellbreak, and I wasn't entirely sure what that means. Penitentiary, Crypt, or the Slaughtering Spire? Let's go to the Slaughtering Spire, I guess. And I can just skip the intro. I don't need, need to look at it too much. Oh, Hellbreak is... Okay. Holy crap. That was rough. Invincibility, duration after taking damage. Uh, attack as you lose life. Yeah, let's grab that one. I need some, like, jump moves. Because basic double jump is rough for that. Tribunal for the wretches. I am going to die. But it does look like there's a meta progression system, so it might not be so bad. Dagon the false judge. I just played another game where I play as Dagon. Okay, bullet hell. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so I've got... I got laser beams now. Ow, and he got me. Alright, that was rough. I was hoping for some kind of dodge roll or something. We get it later, but not yet. Total score, and looks like we unlock some new things along the way. Cool. So Agony is still level 1. Grabbing the rest of that might not be so doable. Can I... Okay, so we're still stuck with this guy. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Agony level 1. Doesn't look like it can change that. Okay. Hellblade. Or... Okay, so Pyrebrand. Increase artifact weapon attack damage. Decreases energy by 1 per second. Doubles your max life. No health will drop. Increase your movement speed and jump power. Yeah, Ethereal Cloak is the one I want. Directional button twice for a dash. Admittedly, I really wish I could press, like, right, uh, right bumper or something to do that instead. Because I don't want to do, like, the double tap. Because double tap's a little bit more inconvenient when it comes to dodging. Okay. So... I I kind of understand where we're going. So we have temp, like, power-up abilities. Wait, I took damage? Oh, I took damage from one of these little shits. Oh, because it went into claw mode. Okay, I get it now. Okay, shocker claw. Hi! That's freaking rad. So I've got 
I've got Chain Lightning. Unfortunately, I don't think I get to keep it. Reduce damage taken by a small amount. Killing an enemy has a chance to restore your weapon energy. I mean, both of these are just too expensive. I'm going to reduce damage taken by a little bit. Oh, did I screw up picking which games? I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Abyssal Steak 2. I could go for steak. I haven't had steak in a while. Oh. But yeah, pacing is good. Level de design is basic, but I don't know. I'm trying to be somewhat analytical here for no good reason. I'm just kind of in analytical mood, I guess. Too many games. Okay. Health is doing... Health is doing super fine. Let's keep going. So... The golden meter looks to be the artifact's weapon power. And so... I only have X amount of shots left on this thing. Before it goes away. I guess that actually makes perfect sense. Ow. And it's nothing else from that. And we lose our artifact weapon. But yeah, the chain lightning is awesome. I kind of wish I got to keep it. But I don't. Okay. What's he going to do? Nothing major. I'm just going to explode off of these guys vertically. Ow. Okay, don't want to do that yet. Okay. So I've got 230. What do we have? Artifact monster spawn rate. Killed enemies have a small chance to drop greater red souls. Third enemy drops more red souls. Or attack power by 12% for each enemy around you. Hmm. I'm going to do fortune maker. The more of these artifact weapons, I think the stronger I'm going to get. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Slaughtering Spire was rough. I don't want to do that again unless I have to. Combos are a thing. Do you think getting a massive combo as you climb the tower is going to be a thing? I think it increases the amount of uh, red souls you get. Ow. Double ow. At least we seem to be getting a lot of the purple stuff. Ow. Oh, another Vault of Avarice? We might as well keep doing them. Well, that dog's... weird. Oh! Ow! Okay, so now I know how to identify spike floors. Not that it was particularly vague to begin with. Okay. But yeah, so it looks like probably the higher your combo value... The higher your combo value, the more likely you are to... Uh, let's see. The more likely you are to probably get, like, greater rewards. Okay, can't go back down. Third enemy drops more red souls. Attack damage by 10%. Four enemies within seven seconds restores 5% life. I'm too poor for some of these anyway. Let's just grab Soul Strike. But yeah, I, I don't think I will ever be that good at comboing, so I don't think <laughs> I'm even going to bother with it. Like, I tried with Eagle Island, but it was just... Like, combo streaks and so on and so forth are for people that are substantially better at these games than I am. I am the adequate man. Okay, Samael the ba Baneful again. It looks like jump attacks are kind of the way to go. At least in terms of raw damage. I will be the jump man, I guess. 
Okay, we get two two eight out of that. Killing an enemy has a chance to restore your artifact weapon energy. Max life capacity. Or total percent. Let's go with this one. Keeping the artifact weapon seems like it's kind of worthwhile. And Tribunal of the Wretches again. Oh boy, we're just immediately dumped into this, aren't we? Sup, Daggle? I don't really know if this game should have bullet hell-like mechanics. Maybe once we get the, um... Let's see. Stay away from that. Okay, stay away from the laser. Now he's gonna start shooting. Okay. But yeah, I don't I don't know about bullet hell in this kind of game. Bullet hells work better in not platformers generally. The only bullet hell I think I've ever played that actually had good uh or like the only bullet hell platformer I think I've ever played that didn't suck was uh Toho Luna Knights. Every other, like, bullet hell platformer I've ever played has just felt weird and wrong. Wow, that was a... that was a combo. Okay, a lot more process to this boss fight, which I kind of appreciate. I thought he was going to be harder, but his patterns are fairly self-explanatory. Ow. Doesn't mean he isn't hurting, kind of. Okay, avoid the laser. Haven't taken too much damage here. And he's dead. Ah, uh, Cuphead. Honestly, I never played Cuphead, so I can't really speak on that one. Chapter end. Hey! So, I was actually right at the end previously. Interesting. So, it's kind of a roguelike, kind of not. Lame reward. Restores life. Extra blight. Bonus souls. Let's go blight. Or maybe it is still a roguelike. It is still a roguelike. I probably don't get the choice to just start from this section. Let's see. We'll be trying out Gensokyo Night Festival. Probably when it's done. If you remind me when it gets there, I could... I could try it sooner, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time to dedicate to it. Then again, I know it's early access and there's like a boss or two. Ow! Okay, Abaddon's Guard, block damage. That'll be helpful. Don't know how long it's gonna last. But that's okay. But yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of interest in Cuphead. I think maybe. Maybe if I had more free time. To suffer on a game, but I generally don't. Green Soul drop rate increase. Probably the most useful, and we kinda need it anyway. Hollow Gutter or the Nidus? Nidus must rep StarCraft. Okay, I dig this. This is a pretty good roguelike. It might not have all the things that'll keep me going for longer than like five, six episodes, tops. We'll see. But like, as far as like basic first impressions go, it's pretty solid. Kind of gruesome. But that's okay. Uh, 
we've got this horror thing here. I'm just gonna go for it for the murder combo health stuff. Okay, there we go. That did hurt pretty bad, though. I don't know. Well, I'm probably going to die here. <laughs> Avoid. Okay, so what do we got? Okay. Avoid. Oh, I see. Okay. That's dead. What else do we have? Toxin resist. Uh, oh! I didn't even notice that thing was still over there. I thought I killed that. Well, that was... rough. I... Eh. Ow. Ow. Double ow. Might be a little bit too easy to combo myself into a death hole. Let's see, attack damage by 10%, max life, uh, damage by 5% for each talent you have. I've got a number of these, I don't know if they're good, but still. The Queen's Hive, I'm going to get wrecked. At least I got the Shot Cloth, which should carry me forward at least a little bit. Oh boy. Okay, that, that helps. A lot. Ow, god damn it. The spikes are a little too easy to miss. Bill the Imperious. Okay. Gotta avoid him a little. And I'm dead, damn it. It's okay, we should be able to get that dodge. Which might help a lot. Okay, and we get 13, 13 bits for that. Alright, increase the damage of all artifact weapons. So this is probably... New Talons. New Talons. Arcfiend Carcass. It's a relic. Blight, talent, blight, relic, talent, talent, blight. Huh. Wow. There are a lot of these. Okay, so I could pick up a new character. I got 13. Do I want to get a new guy? Or do I want to get the dodge? Looks like the difference might just be their stat. So let's stick with this guy. I'll want to unlock Zelos. Well, everybody's saying new guy. Okay. Because, yeah, I want to save up to get... Uh... I want to save up to unlock the, uh, the ethereal cloak. We almost had enough. But I guess we're just going with this, at least for now. We... At least I won't be some dude in a loincloth. Like... I'll, I'll give it credit. I'm going to be a, a, a demon with no loincloth. Oh, wow. Oh, we are Mega Man now. Oh, okay, this is worth it. So I have less health, but I have a gun now. Which actually accounts for a whole lot. Okay, that this will be fun. Okay, pew pew for life. You guys were correct. Demon's the way to go. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! There we go. Okay, third enemy drops more red souls. Artifact monster spawn right rate and blood wrath. Nope, we're going with this. Farming perks is gonna help a lot as a spicy meat claw oh yeah no I I am I'm really digging this 
Oh, this is good. This is good roguelike. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Because, like, I liked Noida, but it was inherently kind of too... slow? I guess? And that threw me off a lot. Because, like, I loved the game, and the idea of it was so cool. The problem is, like, half the time when you were, like, playing through it, you just get wrecked, like, instantly, and it's just like, well, what's... Uh... Like, the scaling was all bad. This one might get pretty painful as well, but, like, every run starts off and immediately just chucks you into stuff. You know, there's not a whole lot of feeling of, of downtime here. Even if, yeah, I end up with, like, out all of the, the cool perks that I collected on the previous run, I can make it work. I have a bounce gun. Okay, everything is kind of vaguely exploding in my general di direction, which I'm enjoying thoroughly. There we go. And yeah, I am not some weird, just, like, kick slash man. Let's see. Enemies killed by Hellbreak drop more red soul. Attraction radius of red and green souls. Uh, I want to get that one, but wow, I was super close too. We're going to go Chaos Grip. Do those dogs uh, float? They kind of do. Okay. Trials of the Necropyre or Pounder, Pounder Gallows? Let's do Trials of the Necropyre. Yeah, I can't shoot up though. Yeah, happens. Becomes Mega Man best game. I... Oh, I really... I really should go back and play some of the Mega Man games at some point. Oh, is this an auto-scroller? Okay, it's an auto-scroller stage. Well, it's not so bad. It was awkward, but it's fine. Five seconds of not attacking. Increase your next attack now. Monster spawn rate. Artifact monster spawn rate. Killed enemies have a chance to drop more. Or... <sighs> See, that one would be amazing. I guess we're going to just grab Fortune Maker, because artifacts are pretty damn good. Let's see. Legend has it there was going to be a third, uh, 3D Mega Man. Third-person shooter at FPS. Uh, yeah, that's called Mega Man Legends. Mega Man Legends is by and far my favorite out of the me all of the Mega Man games. There was also Mega Man 6? Or 7. It was Mega Man X7 that was also a 3D game, but it was hot garbage. It was the worst. Isn't there a Legacy Collection now? Yeah, but unfortunately Capcom's ports have always been kind of rough around the edges. Okay. Grab all those. Avoid. Ow. That guy spawned and immediately just hit me. Okay, there he goes. Ow! Whoa! I almost died. That was a rough boss to come across, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. grab this one. Tribunal of the Wretches, again. Oh, and it's this guy. But I'm even better set up for fighting this guy. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. I need homeboy here to start spawning more goons. Thank you. Okay, 13 health. Eh. Ow, ow, ow. I might get wrecked. I'm just taking too much, like, immediate damage here. Which mostly is my fault. But... It's going to take a little bit of getting used to every character. I was pretty hurt going into this hole, and damn it. He needs a better tell on his bullet attack. It's actually the ring going in. I was just too busy paying attention to other things. But yeah, that, that was pretty solid. It's going to take me a little while before I'm actually good at this game, for obvious reasons, but that's okay. Leaderboard. Hmm. What's my rank? 5,000. Oh, there's a lot of these. Eh, there's only 10 people. I don't know what's up with this person. I'm assuming they're one of the devs and they overflowed. They probably have, well, I don't know, maybe 16 million? Yeah. God, that would be rough.